So in this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about buying a SIM card in Lesotho, which are actually nine different nine different things. And it doesn't matter if you're already living in Lesotho or if you're just visiting Lesotho as a tourist for business, diplomatic reasons. There are probably a few things you didn't know about buying a SIM card here in Lesotho. So let's just get started and let's just, well, let's just get to it, shall we? Hi. It's Odu for Phone Service, where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, which could be local SIM cards, international SIM cards, phone travel tips, mobile hotspots, remote provider, just everything related to traveling with your phone. And in today's video, we will focus on Lesotho, which is a relatively small country in South Africa, which neighbors South Africa as well. There are nine things you need to know, and I will just go about the basics, like the operators there are, which SIM cards is the best, and data packages that are offered in Lesotho, and a few other things. So let's just start with the foundation, which is number one. Which operators do we have in Lesotho? Well, in Lesotho, we have two operators, which is Vodacom Lesotho and Econet Telecom Lesotho, which sounds very long, and it's because of a merger between Econet Lesotho back then and Telecom Lesotho, and they just became Econet Telecom Lesotho. Let's just say Econet, that's a bit easier to, you know, that was a bit better off the top. But not to be confused with Econet in Zimbabwe and Burundi, just Econet Lesotho. And I just want to give a quick note related to Vodacom at the time of writing, well, not at the time of writing, but at the time of recording, Vodacom has been offering 5G in Lesotho and it's also available for prepaid customers and 5G is on band. I'm not really sure if they refer to 5G as bands but N78 on 3500 GHz so if you have a 5G phone you may want to go with Photocom just to try out and see well how it is in Lesotho so that's something to be aware of. Alright so number two where can you get a SIM card in Lesotho where well, you have to go to the official stores of these operators so it could be Photocom or Econet Photocom, they sell the SIM cards for 30 LSL, whereas Econet, they actually have two different types of SIM cards and you can get the Buddy one or Liberté. Both of them, they're actually given away for free, but they require a mandatory top up of at least 50 LSL. So you could say that the SIM card costs 50 LSL and then the credit can be used for whatever. So be aware of that. Number three, SIM card regulation laws in Lesotho. If you're from Africa, you're aware that in almost every country you have to adjust yourself when you buy a prepaid SIM card. And the same applies to Lesotho. I think there are like three countries in Africa that don't do so. Cape Verde is one, they don't have to register. There's another one and one is considering it. So make sure to bring your passport with you when buying a SIM card in Lesotho. Otherwise, well, they cannot sell it to you. And it brings me to number four. Do you need a VPN when you are in Lesotho? The thing is, people who come from countries where SIM card registration is not mandatory, they always get a little bit hesitant about, you know, is the government going to track what I'm doing or is the telecom operators going to track what I'm doing or the ISP? The thing is, well, unless you are doing terrorist stuff, they are not. Plus they have, well, there's so much traffic going on the web, they probably don't have time to manually vet it. And compared to some or most African nations, internet censorship is not prevalent in Lesotho. But even then, everything that you do is linked to your SIM card and that's linked to you. So some people want to use a VPN. And if you want to use a VPN in Lesotho, I would recommend Surfshark and then connect to the South Africa server, which is the closest server to Lesotho. And when you use Surfshark, your speed will slightly reduce because of the distance of the server, but the speeds will probably be close to the maximum or just be as good. And that's mainly because Lesotho is not too far away from the South Africa server, so that's why I recommend Surfshark. And if you want to learn more about Surfshark, make sure to go to phonetourist.com slash go slash Surfshark or check the link in the description or the pinned comment down below. And just as a disclaimer, if you decide to get a Surfshark subscription to the link, I get the small commission for being an affiliate for them and this is at no additional cost for you but it just helps me with the YouTube channel and the website fontwillis.com so thank you for that. Number five, the best SIM card in Lesotho. Now that you are aware of the telecom situation and the operators in Lesotho, it's time to know which SIM card is the best when you are in Lesotho. And the best SIM card in Lesotho is Vodacom. They have the best coverage throughout 
the country and on average when we, I looked at the data only plans they are only slightly more expensive than Econet. I think the average was 38 LSL compared to Econet's 36 LSL so that's just a small difference. So yeah, Photo.com is the way to go when you're in Lesotho. Six mobile data prices. This is not particularly about the packages offer, that's a bit later, but just data prices in general. Well, the Alliance for Affordable Internet, which is also referred to as A4AI, they do research about the affordability of internet in certain countries, particularly Africa, some places in Asia and the Caribbean. And they found that the average cost of one gigabyte of data in Africa is 6.45 USD. And that's just looking at Africa in general. And, and of course, some places are very cheap, where some places are very expensive. And the two expensive places are Equatorial Guinea and Zimbabwe, where one gigabyte of data is like 20, 30 USD plus. It's crazy expensive, but that's not for this video. But what you do want to know is that the average price of one gigabyte of data in Lesotho is 2.13 USD. Hey, it's uh, Auto from the Future here at night. It's like 2 a.m. here in Taiwan. But I was editing this video and I noticed that I made a critical mistake. I'm saying that the average price in Lesotho for one gigabyte of data is 2. Point something something. They wish it was that low. No, the average is 5.33 USD for one gigabyte of data. I don't know how I made that mistake, but uh, yeah, it's 5.36. So yeah, <laughs> I had to fix that right now. So to make you wonder what type of packages are available in Lesotho, but before I do that, we have to go to the next number, which is number seven, is the coverage throughout Lesotho. And coverage throughout Lesotho is okay. Well, it's good if you're staying in a populated area. If you're just going to, I don't know, random forest, then don't really expect that much. There are some coverage maps on the screen, and you can see that, well, as long as you're staying in populated areas or next to roads, you will be fine with either operator. Well, mostly with Fulacom. Alright, number 8, the prepaid packages offered by the operators here in Lesotho. Usually operators offer like combo plans, data only plans, social media, like different type of plans. Well, for this video, what I always do or what I like to do is have a set of guidelines. Package has to come with at least one gigabyte of data and I sometimes make exceptions for 1000 because one gigabyte of data is 1024 megabytes. So, you know, 24 megabytes, that's fair enough. I'll be up to 5 gigabytes. And now you will have an uh, overview on the screen of both Photocom and Econet that meet these requirements. And if you want to see a full list of all the packages offered by these operators, make sure to go to phonetwist.com slash lesotho dash guy and then you can see all the packages. Because if I would go through all the packages, you would get bored. Trust me, I've done it before. People got bored. Anyway, let's just look at these packages per operator. With Photocom only, the data only plans meet the requirements. These are the data only plans that meet the requirements and you know, they, they seem fair. 1000 megabytes, uh, 2 gigabytes of data for like 50 LSL for 7 days, 4 gigabytes of data for like 155 LSL, or okay, specifically 154 for 30 days, not too bad. Same for Econet, 2 gigabytes of data for 7 days. 1 gigabyte for 30 days or 4 gigabyte for 30 days for for only one SL more than Photocom when looking at the data only plans. Although I showed you the conversion of the primacy earlier, but 100 LSL is like 6 USD. Now, okay, of course it goes up and down. So those are, you know, 4 gigabyte of data for 6 USD. Man, if you could get that in some places around the world, phew, like St. Helena, oh, mobile data, you don't want to get that. It's, it's too expensive. But yeah, you will see that mobile data prices are indeed quite cheap here in Lesotho. And this begs the question number nine, if you should roam when you are in Lesotho. And the answer is, why would you? With these low prices, the same cost starter prices like 30 and 50 or um, free and low prices for mobile data packages. There's no need to roam internationally. In fact, you will most likely in almost all cases, I say almost all because there are some operators that might offer attractive roaming rates, although I don't know them on top of my head. In most cases, you will pay much more than what Photocom or Econet will charge you. And if you do not get like a roaming package or roaming plan, you will be charged per action, meaning that you will be charged per kilobyte, megabyte or whatever. And that's how people get these expensive roaming bills all the way up to 1,000, 10,000, euros, USD, 100 million Vietnamese dong. I don't know on top of my head how much that is, but it sounds a lot. But yeah, roaming doesn't seem like a good idea when you are in Lesotho. But even then, let's say if you really want to because you don't want to switch numbers or SIM cards, you may want to go to phonetwist.com slash roaming-provider because I've written a lot of roaming guides for particular operators 
of many countries around the world and you can find your operator and see well what are the roaming rates for if I go to Lesotho. So those are the nine things you need to know about buying a SIM card in Lesotho. If you thought this video was useful, make sure to click the like button and comment down below which SIM card you're gonna try. Are you gonna go with Photocom? Are you gonna go with Econet? Are you gonna roam? Are you gonna get the international SIM card? It's up to you. Just let me know in the comments down below. And if you're living in Lesotho or if you've been to Lesotho, share your experiences with us. I really love to hear about experiences of others. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to click the subscribe button because I talk about local SIM cards all the time. Not literally all the time because I also do SIM card reviews, talk about international SIM cards, give phone travel tips, mobile hotspots, one which provider, just everything related to traveling with your phone. So if that's interesting to you, make sure to click the like button and also that notification bell. Actually, I always forget to mention the notification bell thing, but that thing exists. But yeah, make sure to click that notification bell as well. If you're planning on going to other destinations in Africa after this sort of make sure to check this playlist where I talk about local SIM cards in other African nations. And for now, I'll say goodbye because that's it for today. And I shall see you in the next one. See you. Bye bye.